Satyamev Jayate. In this video, we are going to discuss about the sedimentation in Tethys Sea. So let's go deep into the past. Let's say 250 million years ago. And this is how our planet looks like. Okay, you can't understand a lot of things, but this is how our planet looks like. And you can see some parts, let's say this is, uh, you know, uh, some parts of uh, North America, some parts of, uh, you know, uh, South America, right? You can decipher some of these places, right? This whole megastructure was known as Pangaea, okay? Pangaea. As you can see, this whole big landmass is known as Pangaea. And the rest of the planet that is covered by the ocean is called as Pantha. Lhasa, okay, Pantalasa, that's the name of the ocean, okay, that is Pangaea and Pantalasa. Panthea is essentially a giant mix of all the continents we know of, okay, and Pantalasa is basically the big ocean. Now, what happens is around 210 million years ago, this pretty much broke up, right, and as you can see, you have now visible parts of North America, okay, parts of the whole Asia and Europe and Russia, that is known as Laurasia, and you have parts of uh, South America, Africa, pretty much sticking with each other, and there is a small part of India also, right? And the most important thing that you have to know is, you can see the Tethys Sea between the Laurasia and Gondwana, okay, Gondwana is essentially the mix of, you know, Africa, South America, India, Australia, and all those stuff, right? So that's where the Tethys Sea is sandwiched between Laurasia and Gondwana. Now, what happens is, again, there's a split, okay, around 150 million years ago. It's not that in 50, 50 million years ago, there's a split. There's a small, small split happening. It's actually happening right now also because of the tectonic activities inside Earth, okay? So it's a slow process, but it's happening. We humans can't feel it. We only feel it when there is an earthquake or a volcanic eruption. But there is always this activity. And as you can see, you have the split. You have Eurasia, North America, South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, Australia, New Zealand, pretty much every place that you know. And there is the Tethys Sea. Right? Now, India starts moving towards Eurasia. Okay? India starts moving towards Eurasia around 100 million years ago. Right? It slowly keeps on moving, okay? Slowly keeps on moving, slowly keeps on moving. Okay, so we have reached the part where India is almost going to collide with Eurasia. And after the collision, there's a form of Himalayas, which we have created a separate video, okay? Now at this point, we are only interested in the sedimentation of the Tethys Sea. So, India moves closer, okay? And as you can see, I have changed the concept to visualize in a different way. So as you can see, you have the whole Eurasia in 3D format, okay? And that is the Tethys Sea. Now the interesting thing that you have to know is that Eurasia back then also had a lot of rivers flowing into the sea, okay? We know that all the rivers pretty much goes into the sea, okay? And the rivers in Eurasia also carried the sediments, okay? Right? Now also it's happening. All the rivers carry so uh, sediments, minerals from the land from their land masses and dump it into the sea. It's a process that always happens. So as you can see, the sediments reach the Tethys Sea. Okay, it's reaching over the years. It gets accumulated. It gets more accumulated. Okay, so as you can see, it gets accumulated. So that's the sediments in the Tethys Sea. So what's so important? Now, the interesting thing that you have to know is when the Indian plate, okay, so this is the Indian plate, approached the Tethys Sea and is going to collide into the Eurasian plate, okay. So, let me just let it collide. This is kind of a slow process because it's a slow, slow process. It's going to take a million years, okay. So, it's going to smash to the plate, okay, almost there. Okay, so at this point, okay, at this point, all the sediments in the Tethys Sea rises up, okay, because two plates are colliding, and here is the sediments in the Tethys Sea. So when the two plates collide, okay, 
the sediments rise up. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Indian plate and this is the Eurasian plate. So, and in between we have the Tethya Sea. The Indian plate is approaching the Eurasian plate, right? And the sediments are rising up, right? It's rising up and the Indian plate has subjugated, subducted under the Eurasian plate. Pretty much we know because we have studied about the fold mountains. Now, the sediments rise up and the Tethya Sea pretty much, you know, drain its all its water into the Bay of Banga. So, as you can see, the <coughs> more the Indian plate goes down, the sediments goes up. It goes up, it goes up, and eventually what happens is, it leads to the formation of a mountain range called as Himalayas. Right? So right now, we have the mountain range called as the Himalayas that is being formed. So that is the importance of the sedimentation of the Tethya Sea, which eventually led to the formation of Himalayas.